In this one we're going to be looking at OBS Studio 18 and the very, um, I think, misguided um, simplicity of color source which displays a solid color. So to get started what we're talking about here is in OBS, this is Windows 10 18.0.0, is if we start just by adding a transition here which um, we can see that on the right hand side when I hit transition this scrolling white text will be sent to live. You'll notice that there is a black background and it stays black because that's a color that is a default. To get a different color source in, which is just a simple color card, we can dial in different colors. So the way we did that before, and I'm just showing this on the gold slide here with the black text, and that is something that I've made earlier, which is old school, in Google Drawings. So what I've done in Google Drawings is I've made a gold rectangle and I've added some black text over it and then I've downloaded that as file download as say a PNG or a JPG and then I've imported it as one slide into OBS. So going back to OBS what I'm trying to get at here is that if we said, bearing in mind that that's where we are with say white text over a um, black is to say if I wanted to add say a gold background to that how do I do it? What I can do is I can right click and add a color source. Notice it's a color source 4. Then what I do from that is you'll notice it's defaulted into say white. So also when I click it and I'm just going to use, let's, let's choose an easy yellow and I click OK. What you'll notice with the addition of this new feature is that it's 400 by 400. Now there are a couple of ways. The easiest way to get that into um, what I need is by typing in 1280 by 720 and click OK. What happens immediately there is that I've now got something and I'm just going to edit to take off my lock preview as if I drag it you can see that I'm dragging around. Now Bearing in mind as a learning that you've got to have uh, reading from top to bottom, so I'm going to drag up the top and now I've got my text over the top like that. And that's really it for this new feature. You're adding a color source. But the, the important thing here is that what is your best way of working? So if I just take those two off at the moment and I look at one that I've done before, and this is one which is a, say, a green, is when I click the green, and I'm just going to, um, you'll notice that because I've got all my layers all over the top of each other, that I've got my 400 by 400. What I can do is I could just drag that really big, but I think that's a bit messy, quite honestly. What I could do also is I can hold down the Alt key and just drag in to make it a different um, size and shape and then just make sure it goes nice and big. There's lots of different ways that we could do that. Um, that, that's it. I can't, I can't say too much more apart from going back to what was said and that is that it's a colour source which displays a solid colour. The difference of course is that if you do, and I'm just going to look at my gold here, but if I transition this uh, through is that this is the PNG that's been downloaded so the black text is fixed over the top of the colour. Um, that's it. It's a new feature please have a good old look and see what we can do um, to make the use of it.